Hello, guys. So, okay, now we'll get back to the video. So, they, they, uh, they fixed the diva problem in the game. But I'm going to be talking about one thing. is Overwatch events. So, Overwatch already has a couple of events already that happen every year. It's an opportunity to introduce unique skins for each character. Is here. And, yep, the, you know, there's a lot of, you know, holidays that are not in parts of the world that are not really that represented. Of course, there are various cultures and religions that could have the events where the cultures and religions represent Overwatch. Because Overwatch is a game that represents all groups, cultures, and peoples of groups, all walks of life, and cultures. And I think that there needs to be more events in Overwatch. Maybe events that swap or swap out and out. You know, events that you know change. You know, upon the you know change every day. No, not every day. Every month, basically. You know. I think there's going to be more new events in Overwatch too. But I'll about the top 5 events that should be added. That to the various amount of events that already happened. Because of course it, get, it gets stale with the current amount of events already. And of course there's going to be new heroes in Overwatch. But I can't really predict who are the new heroes in Overwatch. Okay. You know. Overwatch is like Pokemon. You can't really predict the new Pokemon. There's stuff you would want to see. Like I want to see that. Some more. Uh, I want to see a character from of course some countries. That do not have any representation yet. You know, at all. Some very important countries. You know, and cultures that are not really represented yet. Some areas that could be represented. We're going over all of the events. So, number one is a Valentine's Day event. I think this is the most obvious next event to add. Is a Valentine's Day related event. You know, Valentine's Day is basically another one of the biggest holiday events that has not been added. It's one of the most commercial holidays. And I'm surprised Overwatch did not add a Valentine's Day event. Of course... Yeah, it could be a pretty simple event. It could have, it could have, you know, again, it'll be a bit more, you know, all the characters will be, you know, at more Valentine's Day themed as well. You know, it could have a Cupid, Hanzo, and something like that as well. Characters, you know, normally bad are now actually good, you know, have good skins. You know, basically like that. And of course, there are all the, you know, emotes and, and actually, like, some of them, like, yep, some of the emotes... Could be, you know, very, very nice themes. It's kind of like the opposite of Halloween. You know, Halloween is like the evil season. Valentine's Day is the good season. You know, the good part of the year. The next event that could be, you know, added is, of course, a event based off the based off spring. So we don't really have a spring related event. We have a fall ho event, which is basically the Halloween of Terror event. We have a summer event, and we have a winter event. The only season not represented at all is spring. Spring is the only season which of is not represented. We don't really have any real spring related events. You know, which is odd that we don't have any spring related events. Of course spring could be related to flowers, you know, you know, basically no more snow or something like that. Basically stuff that, you know, stands out in spring. The first flowers. So basically do stuff to do with flowers. Again, that could always be done with a Valentine's Day event, but Valentine's Day takes place during February, which is still winter. A spring event could be easily done during March or April, you know, basically there. Another event is a pretty funny event, would be a pretty funny event is April Fools. The best event of all time, basically the troll month. The troll month, basically anything troll themed or, you know, stuff that, you know, April Fools, prankster themes, basically like that. April Fools has you covered, and I'm surprised, and again, they do, we all know Overwatch does celebrate April Fools. Like, for example, last year on April Fools, all the ults it had googly eyes on them. All the characters had googly eyes on them as well. So yeah, it makes sense. He said, let's make that a whole entire event in the game. Because again, April Fools is April Fools. You can have basically throughout the entire event, like some, you know, all the characters have googly eyes or something, you know, hilarious. That's the funny. It's basically, let's add any, whatever wacky and funny skins Overwatch can have. And oh, it's the April Fools event. It's not... It's not supposed to be taken seriously. It's an event that's supposed to be the meme event. So any characters involved with any memes can get, you know, get finally a meme skin. Or a meme, or character, or a character, like a meme that would make a lot of sense. Or reference, you know, popular memes and popular culture. The next event is another event during the t time of May, but it would crash with the Overwatch, you know, event is, of course, we have other religions in the world. Christmas already has the event, but what about the other major religious holiday? I'm talking about Ramadan. I don't, you know, again, of course, 
most of the character, most of the skins for that, you know, theme could be Middle Eastern design themes. They already have a few Middle Eastern characters in the game from the country of Egypt and stuff. We don't really have much stuff for the Middle East. We have a map based off the Middle East. And, you know, we could have a game mode based around that map, o Oasis, which is in Iraq. Again, it would be a pretty, you know, of course, we have a theme for Christmas when we have a theme for other religions around the world. I don't know about Hinduism, what Hinduism holiday is, but I know that, yeah, that, yeah, that's like the Islamic month of the year. But the only problem is it would crash with the anniversary event, and I think that would be a big problem because Ramadan takes place during May, which crashes with the Overwatch event. But, yep, it would be pretty cool to have more, you know, Middle Eastern themed skins, you know, more Islamic themed skins. It would be pretty cool. We already have a Christmas holiday as well, holiday theme as well as Christmas. Again, Christmas is more of a commercial theme. Another one could be an Easter theme, could be a more, you know, Christian oriented theme as well. So, you can give both religions representation. It makes a lot of sense. And the last one is the 4th of July. Yep, the 4th of July, because China has their own event. Why doesn't America get their own event? Uh, you know, China gets the Lunar New Year, which is a very important time in China. It's a very important era in Chinese culture and Chinese history. So, why don't we get the most important event in America's history? Basically, Independence Day, you know, holiday, you know, basically can get its own event with its own skins. All America themed. You know, you can have a skin of, you know, well, you can have an emote of, uh, you know, a victory theme of McQueen or, or soldier put using hot dogs as well. You know, America, you know, it's, it's pretty, uh, you know, again, this, this is probably the least likely to happen because, you know, we all know that, you know, Blizzard is based in Silicon Valley and they don't really care about America that much compared to other countries. And yeah, people, and of course, Twitter would complain that, oh, making a theme based around America is too biased, you know, too biased towards America, even though we really have a Chinese event as well. You know, some other events we could add is like a European themed event, you know, event like a world, an event for Earth Day. Again, you know, basically themed. So basically themed, you know, kind of like the anniversary event, but there's unique skins for that one where you have themes, you know, characters for all around the world. Basically celebrating the world and basically all of our achievements in the future. You know, all of the achievements in the future, you know, we have done, you know. You know, basically, we could have a space themed event as well. That's the seventh one. I'm just kind of just throwing out ideas now. Space themed event. You know, a theme. You know, considering that space is a major theme of Overwatch, I think a space themed event, like, you know, could have, like, you have the return of the alien Zarya skin, we can actually purchase it because it's a space themed event. And I think, yeah, it'll be pretty funny to have. It'll be pretty cool to have a space theme, you know, basically there. So we can have, you know, the. You know, one Winston skin, you know, so oh, actually, that's related to the war, but you can have, you know, a bunch of, you know, space themed skins. Like, a, you can have a Walker Sept Diva skin, that would be pretty cool. Or you can have a, you know, a alien, a bunch of skins based off aliens and stuff, aliens in space, and, you know, stuff like that. Basically, you know, the alien themes and stuff. It would be a pretty cool event. You know, it could take place during July or August. Again, that would, you know, or, you know, June. But yeah, that would be a pretty cool event. Same thing with an Easter event, just because they could have Easter eggs bad throughout the entire event. But I think that's another unlikely event to ever happen as well. We get, And then, of course, the ninth event, I think would be a pretty cool event, would be a gaming event. Basically, and actually, I'm now saying it to 10 events. But yep, a gaming event. I think that this would be a pretty cool and great event. And again, this could be a celebration of video games. For example... On certain consoles, you could have certain exclusive skins. I know people will hate that, but you'll understand why I say, like, you see about when I hear, when I, uh, hear me out. For example, we could have skins based off, you know, Master Chief on Microsoft, or exclusive to the gaming event. You know, basically, probably this event will come around, like, the finals of Overwatch League. Instead of, you know, Overwatch League only skins, you get, you know, a Donkey Kong Winston skin, which is a skin that a lot of people want to see. Master Chief skin, you know, for. You know, another character, uh, you know, for Xbox players, you know, probably even, hey, you know, probably World War Warcraft skins, you know, the return of the, you know, skin, I forgot what character, the one, the one skin for Widowmaker, the Kyogen skin, we could have the, you know, return of, we could have, you know, basically all like the Warcraft themed skins, all the gaming themed skins, 
you know, all even some we're talking of the Overwatch League skins because it's the gaming event, but it kind of ruined the you know whole theme of. But again, we can have you know characters based on Blizzard characters, Activision characters. You can have a Crash Bandicoot skin, you know, for Hammond, you know, Spyro the Dragon, you know, themed skin for Hanzo and Genji, a pink, you know, dragon skin, you know, basically resembling Spyro the Dragon. You know, Blizzard could team up with other companies to get skins from other games. I can't get like Final Fantasy and stuff. Again, it's a wrong side. I don't see this happening because it takes a lot of licensing issues. And yeah, to keep these skins in the game. Like, you know, Nintendo could have, you know, Nintendo console could have unique skins. Microsoft could have unique skins for like Banzo Kazooie and, you know, Microsoft characters. And, you know, some of these characters could, you know, like some characters that can summon characters like Ask can have like someone a. Like the and then the way you know like it, but yeah, it would it also would find a way for perfect you know other companies like you know Professor and stuff to get there. It kind of be like Smash Bros. Which character would get and it would kind of be like the same hi, kind of hype for Smash Bros. Which characters will be in? We'll get skins references. We could have a Minecraft skin. We could have a, even Fortnite. Overwatch could really become the next Fortnite in terms of skins if they actually add like a gaming event to the game. You know we could have a. Some you get there's like a, some a lot of good references you can make as well. The last event I have come up with is the underwater theme. So underwater is a pretty good idea. We can see the return of these squid Zenyatta skin, but yep, a water character, you know, basically a lot of characters themed about underwater be you know kind of it's not it's not basically the summer skin, you know it's kind of not exactly like the summer skin, you know basically yeah basically underwater theme event. So basically, yeah, we have more fist theme skins. We'll have a submarine theme skins for like Diva and why not, you know, Sip theme skins, Sip Captains, you know, stuff like that. Hammond skin will probably the Hammond skin will probably move to that event as well. The Captain Hammond skin could be perfect for an ocean theme. I think you know, just gonna have this more like generic themes like space and ocean. You know, could have a force theme, could have an animal event where we we'll have characters themes around animals, you know. As well, you know, we could have, you know, characters themed around animals. There's a lot of new events you could actually think of. You know, we could have an event fe fe featuring on Buddhism, you know, Sintoism, and other religions. You could have theme events themed around certain countries like USA. We already have one themed around China. We could have one themed around India. The Middle East is basically the Ramadan event I was talking about. A theme, an event based around Africa. You know, basically an event based out of Russia. You know, a lot of countries, you know, could have, you know, skins based on them. I think it'll just please the worldwide audience even more of Overwatch if we have skins for each country, you know, events for each country. I think America would be the next in terms of countries that would get events, or India. Because India is the second biggest country in the world. USA is the third largest country by population, basically, you know, here. And I think India probably has the third or second most amount of players in Overwatch here. And yeah, there we go. Those are the potential events in Overwatch. Yeah, I think they're going to add more events in Overwatch and Overwatch 2, basically. And yep, there we go. That's basically it about this video. Goodbye.